How you going? Scott Ashwood Fab Shop, uh, episode six. Uh, we just got a customer 80 series in. Uh, we're gonna do intake piping and fix a few little problems that uh, has arisen from other work being done. Uh, so we'll get in and fix that. So ripped it apart now. Got a 1HDT hat for it to make it a little bit easier. Um, that's the before. Uh, we've got a mock-up piece made from scrap material here. So all we're gonna do is straight off the turbo. Uh, that way, 45, 90 up into there, straight pipe. Make it one piece of pipe rather than uh, 47 joint pieces of pipes. And yeah, we'll get it done. I'll uh, show you how I build it. That's literally just a bit of scrap tacked together. But we've got some new 90s and some silicon hose here. We'll get them uh, cut and tigged together and I'll bring you back when I'm uh, cutting them and tigging them together. So I've just marked it, we'll cut it off there, add the 90 to it, and that will come straight up to here, straight piece of silicon, and we're all done. So we just trim that down. We'll uh, tack it onto our other piece now, get it in line, and then we'll uh, weld her up. Thank you. 
So, see how it's longer one way than the other. Yeah. And it sits out much further when you go that way. Yeah, yeah. So we make two separate marks, one with two marks, one with one mark, so we know exactly where to line it up. So I'll uh, tack it all together now, come check it again, we should be good to go. Righto, we'll just tack this together now on the marks, and then we'll go try it again and see how it goes. And then we'll uh, bring it back and weld it up if it's right. So we'll just use a TIG, tack it up, take it back to the car, check it, and then uh, weld it up. Righto. Now we've got that tacked up, we'll uh, take it to the car and double check it and we'll be good from there. Righto, so that's the piece. I'll kick it in and uh Sorry, you're going to want a bit more. 
Feels like the angle isn't quite right. You want to keep it yeah, like there and yeah. and just come up a bit with a bit of steel. Is that what you're thinking? No. Just let the hose. Yeah, pull the hose. Is. That long. Oh yeah, yeah. More than that, and yeah. you probably get more um, so vibration reduction with a bit more um, hose. The whole way around. So I keep not around the turn. That's about where I want it. I reckon. I know. So I've got the pipe sitting there. It's in on the turbo, one singular piece, the uh, previous work bent that pipe out so I'm going to bend it back where it's supposed to be and uh, it'll be all sweet. So I'll uh, weld it up now and we'll uh, get it to work and I'll bring this back when I'm welding it up. Right now it's all done now so we'll uh, get in and weld it all up. Right on, so we've got the TIG on 46 amps DC, some uh, one mil filler wire, we'll send up.
Right eh? He's all welded up the whole way around. We will uh, give it a quick little sand, clean the insides, and uh, get to painting it. So with my old steel, uh, when they come, the bends, they come pre-oiled to stop rusting. So before you paint it or put it on the car, you want to make sure you get all the gunk and residue off it so it's all good. Before we wipe it down, well before we paint it, we'll give it a hit with some uh, wax and grease anyway, but this is just to get the first lot of oil off before we put it anywhere near. There's a uh, the finished intake pipe. We'll uh, hang it up here in a second, give it a quick paint, and we'll go from there. So we got it welded up, test fitting it now. All looks good, nice and clean. Got all the silicon hose on. Got plenty of uh, pipe in. All looks real nice. So I'll pull it out and paint it now, and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, got it all cleaned up, waxed and greased it. I just chucked some edge primer on it and then uh, a coat of satin clear and a little sander. Right, we'll leave that to dry and we'll uh, come back to it in a sec. Jumped in, got it done. Just tightening it up all now. And she's all installed. We've got one clamp to tighten up. We'll give it a road test. We've just got the uh, breather hose to put on. She's all sweet. So we've just finished the intake pipe. Uh, I just picked up some uh, electrical stuff, so we've got full 12 volt system going in, a uh, little drive tech screen on the uh, switchboard and everything, and BCDC 1250, uh, 200 amp uh, lithium battery from Custom Lithium, and also we've got a uh, and a drive inverter, 2000 watt inverter to run the uh, cooktop. But I'll bring you back when we get into that. Just got to do a uh, uh, coolant hose, top coolant hose on it, and then we will rip back into running all the wiring for this, which we're just going to use 6B and S, and we'll get it done. So that concludes episode six. Um, it's only a short video this time. Next week. We'll either be back on the 80 or I'll be doing cab mounts on blue collar. Um, and we might have a look at another project that we have kicking to the side. Uh, 
which is my little blue Hilux. That's an RM41 Hilux. Uh, that will be coming in very shortly to get a new tray, uh, a motor, and something a little bit different with the steelies. So that will kind of be a budget overhaul that we'll be doing. Uh, but next week, I say we'll be doing cab mounts and mounting the front end on the blue collar, and then it'll be back to the 80 series, which we're waiting on parts for. Uh, we're just waiting on the lithium battery and the inverter. Uh, once all the parts come in, I'll uh, give everyone a run through of exactly what we're using, where we got them from, uh, and why we're using them. Uh, I do a fair bit of 12 volt. I'm no sparky by any means, but I uh, have done a fair bit of it. So I use certain products for certain reasons. Uh, remember, I'm on uh, Instagram, I'm on Facebook. Jump on YouTube, give our uh, other videos a like, comment, and subscribe. And always remember don't be a sheep, follow your dreams. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take sh I got no love, and the fake is if you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take sh